Okay, she's TV na when you go so a mooch, or Bapa Sika, Sono, and Net Matsna made the Wilma, na a year as some day, a year. Menya Jabuso, and never who walk a crack up be a woe if he has seen a Saho Hono, Menesho, Mena, the first person we host to know a medium and talk over them. I saw a local guest in a sort of a major waffle and crassway, Embra. Mekaya no prof at Tamina e will fear her say. I a woman young pie and said they will see a Kenya menu and yeah as some kids are never made day occasions boutique summer sunny and made the bro occasions wine shop summer sunny and a dread cause ventures and so as summer sunny professor will fear the minim so a new professor so a professor will go no me by a baby son prof and more father now um promo to say yeah for prof or the fafra Back up, ah. Did you say from Prof Atamina? Would you like to say anything? Ah, maybe I'm going to say what I am David Atamina, but my young students in in my music career, I'm Prof on stage, Prof Atamina, the professor of my special instrument, Congo. Oh, okay. So the colleague gave you uh, the, title. the title prof. Yes. Are you doing? I thought you were a professor at Legon. <laughs> you see, being a professor, is, professor is not an academic degree or qualification. It is a grade. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a staff grade for senior most members of a college, a university, or even a secondary school. Okay. You understand? Okay. So do PhD is a requirement, but not all professors are PhD holders. Okay, so you hold your PhD in your Kologo? In my Kologo. Okay, so where are you from, Prof? I'm from Boraga in the Upper East region. There's a district called Bongo. Yes, I'm a native of Bongo. I belong to the royal clan of Anafu, BC. Yes, and I hear from a, a village called Abakana, Akana, that is here. Oh, okay, Prof. Thank you very much. I was born and bred in Damungo in the Savannah region. Okay, so your parents are still alive? Yeah, they are still alive. Okay, my mother is no more, may the soul rest in peace. But my father is still kicking. And he's in Damungo. Oh, okay. All my family are based in Damungo. But uh, for me, due to my musical career, I don't have a specific uh, station. Roaming about I officer. Move to and fro. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Prof, tell me about this colobo. Yes, colobo is a traditional instrument that is made out of a calabash, an antelope skin, a wooden stick, then nylon strings, made of two strings, which has the uh, poly two sound, a low and high chord, low and high chord, but can be used to sing in various forms of the music based on the articulations of the finger or the fingers. So these five fingers, every finger can give me more than ten sounds. Oh wow. Yeah, so it's a, a very special instrument. But in the ancient days, Kologo was used by the spiritualists, the fetish priests, whatever. And uh, Gone were the days when there was nothing like a mental health visit. People that were uh, possessed, uh, they said they were possessed, I mean, possessed spiritually. And they in the ACA, they didn't know that it was something like mental or whatever. They can go astray to the forest or whatever. And while they go, they meet all kind of spiritual wealth people, the dwarves and whatever and they have their various forms of entertainment in the forest. So there's such people who go astray as a result of a, a spiritual possession, goes to meet these spiritual beings in the forest, and they learn an instrument from them. Some come back with the Kondorov, some come back with Goji, some come back with the Lomo, some come back with the flute. So it's all of a sudden the person can lost in the scene for years before you see the person, the person is back with a strange character. So some people were the, the spiritualists, the fetish priests. 
So whatever the uh, whatever instrument that they come back, they came back with from the uh, spiritual world, was what they used to evoke their spirits in terms of trying to heal someone. Okay, so if I understand, if they want to call their spirits, they play the color. They play the color to call the spirits to come and assist and then assess them. They can, you know, we have what we call telepathy in psychology reading through the song, somebody's palm yeah. and whatever. All this were done by our people without knowing, you see. So they call the spirit, the spirit can to give them the guidelines and they can define into your, uh, they, they, they can define and tell you your future and your current situation. Okay, so this one will let them foresee your future. Just foresee, when they clear the spirit comes, and the spirit can control the, the, that say that moment for divination. So normally the spirit, when they bring a client to, for them for healing, they have to evoke the spirit. For the spirit to come and tell them, oh, this person is sick of this. Use this herb, use this herb. That was what was done. So it is not common for one to just get up and pick color where they play when it is not in your family. Okay, so do you have any special uh, spirits or something that is making you, uh, it's giving you uh, the, the ability to, to play well, those yes. instruments? I have a spiritual connection with my ancestors because my great grandfather, Azayare, was a luminary in this Kongo music. He did it so well. You know, those days it wasn't about buying uh, cars and uh, building mansions. They made it and they have to marry plenty wives. Yeah. And then be, I mean, be prolific. And that's true. He did it, passed it on to my grandfather, Atamina. I met Atamina physically. Then he also left the spiritual world the year 2002. So I started playing under him. But then he has retired. But he was giving me coaches and whatever. How to chant appellations of prominent people and what, how to go about the traditional music. So I took it from there, but then as a child, I couldn't compose my own. So I was imitating from my senior colleagues, like somebody like Ayun Sule, he's a locally based player, but now he's into the international level. He's based in Kumasi here, which is Ayun Sule. So but then he was, uh, his music was going far. So I started learning these songs, playing in my own. So when I became uh, a master, then I said, wow, then it's good I create my own than to be uh, imitating people. Okay, so coming to creating your own, I have a question to ask you. How did you come about this instrument? Where did you get it? Yes. Is it from your grandfather, he passed it on, or you made this one specially for yourself? The son? one that is from my grandfather is not allowed to be taken out. It is now a family god that everybody sacrificed. Once you are a member of our family, you serve that God. How? So if, yes, yeah, it's a spirit that uh, they sacrifice. So if I pick it out, the family will not be okay. pleased with me. So I have to make my own. So now it has become a God. Do you pour libation? Do you put blood or what? Or it's just something that is hanging there, you look at it and then... Oh, no, no, no. It's not just something that is hanging there. The spirit communicates to the people. Tell them that oh, your grandfather's spirit wants this, or this he wants it, whether good, sheep, fowl, whatever. Then you have to give it out. And that is the connection. So if I begin to play my music, then I start chanting my forefathers. Then you see that the spirit comes over me. Then my, I might even play to some extent that you will not, you will not believe. Really? Yeah. Immediately, I begin going, the spirit increases, you see. So music can come off head, off head, not necessarily written. I can sing and sing and sing, change, 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 without any formal uh, documentation or whatever. So that's how our music is. The, the conversation is really interesting, yeah. but I have to go on a commercial break. Yes. And my name is Obapa Sika, so you have to give us something to go on a commercial break. Okay. So I'm waiting for you.
Come in.